Hello everybody, my name is Brandon Hopkins. For today, I am going to be your Akamai Developer Advocate. And what we are gonna be doing in this video is setting up Open Project. What this is, is some wonderful open source project management software, incredibly feature rich. If we check out their website just real fast, you can see a lot of what they have to offer. Of course, this is gonna be linked down below. We have task, milestone, phase organization. It's really easy to go ahead and customize times and whatnot when certain tasks are due. And I actually already have an instance of this spun up that I was testing out. It is full of demo data. This is basically a fresh install. This is what you will get out of the box. Over here, we have access to our projects, various activities, work packages. If you ever see this little kind of diamond icon, that means it is a premium feature. There are some premium features. The base software package that we have installed right now is completely open source, but they do offer upgrades. If I click on projects here, you can see some of the demo projects. I have a project called Demo Project and then the Scrum Project. If I open up the Scrum Project, for example, we have an overview specifically for this project and you could actually go ahead and edit everything on here. So if you have a big project that you're working on, you can edit the actual welcome and overview page as well as a specific wiki that you can build for various projects. So for example, this wiki page, all I would do is click on edit and I have full edit access with a really nice kind of a rich text editor here. And if I go back and let's go to the roadmap, for example, you can see a really nice overview of everything we have going on here. And all of this is customizable and you could change and add sub tasks and sub projects and all kinds of stuff. We have a few options. I'm gonna go over to the task board and this is just kind of a uh, typical task organization. You could change the status of things. So the SSL certificate, I could add it to the priority list for today. And then if I go to this specific task, I could click this right here to open the detail view and see a lot more information about what is going on, who it's assigned to, the latest activity with this, all the various tasks and milestones and everything. You can attach specific files to relations to other things. The amount that we have to work with here is truly extensive. All the way down to time and costs, you could set up meetings through here. If I go select the project and let's go to our demo project this time, for example, and here let's go to work packages. This is a real nice layout of everything that's going on. We have phases, the tasks, the milestones. If I clicked on one of these, such as organizing the open source conference, you could see all of these are sub to this main phase. If I opened up one of these, you could see a lot of what we just saw, but if I click over here on relations, you could see the children to this task. And there really is a whole lot more going into all the details and everything you could do with Open Project would be its entire separate video. But what the main focus of this is going to be is actually setting this up on your very own instance. We are going to run through the package installation method and uh, get a nice SSL certificate running. This right here is their documentation. You can find information on just about everything, including how to use specifically everything that we just mentioned and a whole lot more. But what we are gonna be focusing on for the duration of this video is down here under installation and operations. I do recommend you read through just about everything, especially if you're gonna be running this in production and have a bunch of team members and things like that. There are a few different installation methods. We have packages, which we're gonna be doing. If you run a Docker environment and you prefer that, there are Docker options. And you can see a lot of that information here. But what we are going to do is go over to packages and we're gonna be doing this on Ubuntu 22.04 Jammy and this is all the commands we're gonna be referencing. So what we need to do is actually go and set up our Linode. You can see here on my Akamai Connected Cloud Dashboard, I have a couple different things going on. Open Project Test is what we were just using. And I'm gonna create a new Linode specifically for this. This is a more intensive application. You can see I'm running the two gigabyte version here. So let's go ahead and click Create Linode. We are not gonna be using the Marketplace this time. You can select basically any operating system supported, but I am more familiar with Ubuntu, so we are going to go with 2204 here. Select a region that is closest to you or your team. For me, it's gonna be Seattle. We're gonna go with the shared CPU two gig plan. I did test this on the Nanode plan and sometimes page loading is a little slower. This one works significantly better. As far as cost is concerned for new users, if you go ahead and use the link down below, you get $100 60 day credit. So if you haven't taken advantage of that yet, it is definitely a good deal. So let's scroll down here. I am not going to have a tag. We are going to label this. Let's call it open project dot cloud guide dot site. That's kind of my uh, demo domain that I use for a lot of these tutorials. 
root password, I know what that is, I'm gonna keep it. I do recommend you use SSH keys, it'll be linked down below to learn more about that. We're not gonna be setting this up on the VLAN. If you are running this in a production environment, setting up backups is probably a good idea. And that's really all we need to do. Let's go ahead and create our Linode here. And while it provisions and boots up for us, let's create our subdomain. So we have our IP address here. We're gonna give that a copy. And I already have my domain name set up over here in the domain name manager cloudguide.site here. If you don't have this already set up, it's a really easy process. They have separate guides and you really just put the Linode name servers in your registrar and set it up here. Real easy stuff. We're gonna to want to scroll down to A records. I'm gonna add an A record. And here, this is going to be open project. It's gonna be the sub copy it in. Let's click on save. It's better to do that right away because sometimes it will take it just a little bit of time to get set up properly. So from there, let's go over to the nodes. We have our instance we just created here. Let's launch the Lish console to go ahead and start out. And we're gonna go ahead and let this finish booting up, of course. And that was quick. So first we're just gonna do some really simple tasks within the Lish console before we log into our local terminal. I'm gonna log in with a root and that limited sudo, not limited sudo, that root password that we just created. There we go, we're in. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just update it real quick. Let's do apt update. Enter, and there are 48 packages. Let's go ahead and update those real fast. Upgrade, enter, and we'll continue with that. Might take it just a moment. And here we have a thing for keeping our SSH config. I'm probably gonna keep the current version installed. You can check out both of them if you'd like to, but I'm just gonna continue with the current. And it does look like it's installing a new Linux kernel, so we will have to reboot our system in just a moment. And there it is, a new kernel. So we're just gonna hit OK, basically restart if you want to load that, and we will go OK, restart those services. And then from there, we are actually gonna create our very own limited sudo user. And to do that, it's really easy. We're just gonna do add user, and then whatever you want your username to be, hit enter, give yourself a new password, make it fairly strong. There we go. This information doesn't really matter if it's only gonna be you, but if you're in an actual company or whatever, I would do recommend filling this out. Information looks good, so let's continue. And now we're gonna add that to the sudo group. So add user, that specific user, and sudo. Enter, user has been added to the sudo group. So now what we can do is actually reboot our server, so it will reload that new kernel. You could either type in the reboot command or we could just close this out and click on reboot within our dashboard here. Let's reboot the Linode. And this usually takes anywhere from like two to five minutes. So just give it a minute. So after just a little bit of time, we can see it is running. Just to double check, we can launch our Lish console and we can see that it is prompting us to log in. So I'm actually gonna close this out and we'll go to a local terminal instance here. Now we can SSH as that new user we created. So let's do our username at our IP address. We still have it copied from when we popped it into the A record, but if you don't grab it on the dashboard and then hit Enter. Of course, making sure that you don't have some of these silliest typos. <laughs> yes, this is our server. Type in that password and we are in. So we are actually going to install Open Project now. And again, we are going to be doing a lot of this straight from the Open Project website here. Here again is the installation for Ubuntu 22.04. I already did a apt get update, so we are going to grab this one and get any missing packages which I believe we have most of these. We might be missing one. Yep, we're gonna need the apt transport HTTPS. Let's continue with that installation. And there we go. So from there, we're gonna need the PGP key to sign the packages that we're gonna be pulling directly from them. Go ahead and paste that in, hit enter. All of these are gonna be pretty quick. So now we're gonna add the package source. Paste that in, hit enter. And the process is gonna be Basically that simple until we get to the uh, actual SSL certification. So apt-get update to update our packages and we are going to apt-get install open project. So let that pull and you can see open project is going to be installing a wide range of various packages, a whole bunch of different things. So we are going to proceed with that installation. It might take it just a bit and then boom, it's installed. Now it's not installed properly yet, because there is a step we're gonna need to do. We go over here to the initial configuration section. What this is gonna do is give us a couple different options. We can either do reconfigure or configure. We're technically gonna to want to run reconfigure, and this is gonna give us a really nice interactive installation process. So let's paste that in and then hit enter, and here we go. Now through this process, there may be some things you want to do differently, and if you want additional clarification besides what I give you, 
everything is here basically step by step. So it's real easy to follow. We're gonna go with the default open project installation. We do not have a uh, SQL server currently installed. So I'm gonna to want to install a new one. If you already have one, you can reuse your existing database. Let's continue. For this, we're gonna install the Apache 2 server. If you want to use something like Nginx, you're gonna to have to do a, a little bit more work. This is the recommended method here. I'm gonna continue. And then we have our fully qualified domain name. Now we are gonna do what we set up in our A record, which in this case is gonna be openproject.cloudguide.site. So from there, continue. If you do want it on a path such as your domain forward slash open project, this is where you'd set that up. I have it on a subdomain, so I'm not going to need to do that. Now, do you want to enable SSL? For now, we are going to say no, because we don't have the keys that we're gonna need generated as of yet. We will be diving into that. So for now, select no. Here's our API key. For now, I'm just gonna leave that as is. If you want to change that and all that, I do recommend you check out the documentation. Continue. Now, I'm not gonna be using subversion repositories, so I'm going to go ahead and skip this. I'm not gonna be using Git, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. Now, memcached, this is something you are going to want to install. Again, if you want more information, we could go ahead and scroll on down to the memcache section, which is right here. It heavily relies on this. Always select install unless if you have a reason to configure some other caching mechanism. So let's give that an install. Type in our administrator email, continue. I'm gonna select English and there it goes. And there we go, it is all now configured and ready to go. Now, just to make sure it's working, let's head over to our web browser. I'm gonna to go to openproject.cloudguide.site, hit enter, and here it is. It is up running fully functional. Technically, you don't really need to do anything else, but of course, we're gonna to want to make this secure. And to do that, I'm actually gonna go back here real fast and let's scroll all the way back up so we get our little side menu here and we're gonna to want to go to advanced configuration and go to configure SSL. Again, the documentation is really good. You can see all the other things they have going on here, such as setting up inbound, outbound emails and whatnot. We're not gonna go over all of that, but all the information you need is gonna be here. So let's go configuring SSL. And then we're gonna scroll down and here are their specific steps for how they want you to get a free SSL using Let's Encrypt. I tried using the non-cert only version previously and it does not play very well with how they have their uh, Apache configuration set up. So you are gonna have to kind of get the cert only and then properly link it up. Now to do this, we're going over to CertBot. Let's get these cert instructions. So we are going to select Apache and this is going to be running on a Ubuntu system. And then the only commands we're gonna need from here are going to be this. sudo snap install classic cert bot, paste that on in. And then from there, we're going to want to link up the kind of snap pack version with our actual root system so it can communicate externally properly. So sudo ln-s and then these uh, directories, enter. And that's basically it for this configuration. We could jump back over here and we are gonna to want to run this right here. Cert bot, cert only Apache. Paste that on in, hit enter. And here you're gonna to want to put in your email address, hit enter, agree to their terms of service. You should probably actually read it. And then no, I've already done this before. And here you can see it's actually already recognizing one of my domains right here because it was added to the configuration with that open project configuration. So I'm gonna select one, continue. It's gonna request that certificate. And then there we go, it has been granted successfully. So now what we need to do is reconfigure open project. So we use this command right here, the same command that we did for the kind of initial setup, paste that in, hit enter. And now it's gonna save all your settings. So you just kind of hit enter until we get to where we need to be, which is going to be right here. We do want to enable SSL for our server. And here, path to your SSL certificate. Again, they do a real good job of putting everything we need down here. This right here is going to be the path. You are gonna to want to customize it or change it to actually match up with your domain. So paste that on in. And then right here at mydomain.com, cloudguide.site. Continue, same thing right here. This is the privekey.pem. Get rid of that, paste it in, cloudguide.site, enter. And then the CA bundle, which is actually gonna be the exact same thing that we put in the previous entry. So paste that on in once again, and same process here, cloudguide.site. This is gonna help generate that Apache configuration point to the proper location that the SSL certification was automatically generated in 
with that previous command. So let's hit OK. And then again, just enter through, keep everything as is. So continue, continue, and there we go. So now it's going to reconfigure our configuration for the certification. And here we are, nothing to do, it should be done. And I do recommend you kind of read through this because it gives you some uh, extra information on making sure that it will automatically renew or be able to renew. So now if I go over here and I go back to openproject.cloudguide.site, hit enter, guess what? We now have our SSL certification. And then from there we can log in. The default login information is just gonna be admin and admin. And then when you first log in, it's going to ask you to create a brand new password. There we go, let's click save and boom, we're in. So welcome, let's go ahead and save that, looks good. And then it has this nice little kind of walkthrough process that you could do if you'd like to, just to get a little tutorial of where everything is, what is going on. But from here, what I would recommend is you follow this tutorial, get this set up for yourself, spin up your very own Linode on Hack My Connected Cloud and have fun with it. And with all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. This channel is wonderful for cloud computing tutorials like this, a bunch of good content that you should probably go ahead and check out and subscribe to ring that bell so you do not miss our future uploads. With all that, again, bye.